All right, we're going to take this Dell Precision 7530 laptop. We're going to open it up. We're going to pull the back of it off and access the cooling fans from the back side. Let me get some tools. I'll be right back. All right, let's see if we can get this thing open. About like watching grass grow. Somebody watching somebody take some screws out of a laptop. I think these are, yeah, these are held in place by the casing itself. They won't pull all the way out. They're captive screws. That's all of them. Basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm back. What I had to do is I had to pry on this thing fairly hard with my hand. I've got one little part of it loose. You can see that. There we go. It's kind of scary doing it. Okay, here's the cooling fans, one right there, one right there. What I'm wanting to do is I'm going to pull these uh, labels up right here. And I'm going to see if I can oil the motors. Give me just a few minutes, I'm going to peel those labels up. Okay, I was able to get the labels peeled back on the motors, the cooling fan motors. And one thing to note about cooling fans and computers. Usually whichever side of the label's on, you can gain access to the motor shaft. So you can see that cooling fan right there. We can possibly order all the motors, lubricate them through those holes right there. Let me go get some oil. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my oil can here. What I'm going to do is drop some oil in these holes. a little bit. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Okay, let me show you what I did. I got in here with the oil can and I put some oil down those holes on both motors. What that does is it'll lubricate the bearings or bushings in the motor shafts. I'll drop some right there in the center too. So anyway, let's we'll clean this up and then we'll put the stickers back. I'll seal them up See you in just a minute. Okay, I've got the stickers put back. Got everything cleaned up. We're going to put the back back on this thing.
All right, got the computer all booted up. Got some apps running in the background to get the fans to spool up. And as you can hear, it sounds nice and smooth. Just like brand new, just like normal. So the fans didn't need replacing. All they needed was a little bit of lubrication. But anyway, hope this helps and I'll talk to y'all later. Have you found this video helpful? Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you. And remember, don't be destructive. Fix, repair, create. Make the world better.